Cool. And my place, hey Kim, and and we have a lot of snow. Um, I uh, um when we went outside, Kim, when Kim came in, came to my house last time, um, remember Kim? We none of us could almost none of us could even run. Remember? Remember? Yeah. Cam, do you hear um, Diane speaking to you? Yeah. So you should respond to him when he's asking you a question. Yes, what's the question again? Cam, remember when you came to my house, you had so much snow? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's so a lot guys, of snow, like 12 so guys, inches. Watch this. Let's say that it snows and outside of your house, the height of the snow is five inches, right? You see that picture? Now, if the wind, Zion, do you see this? If the wind is coming in the direction towards the house, what happens is it builds up something called snow drifts. And you could have mounds of snow that are even like three feet high because of something called snow drift. So even though, Cam, there's only five inches of recorded snow, up against a house downwind, it can be significantly more, even five to six times more. Yes, sir, Cam. Um. On my screen, I can draw on your screen because yes. thing that you need to and draw on it. And and I may I may need you to do that for me at some point. But gentlemen, I'm gonna make it thinner. Got today, it. Thinner. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing something called partition. Can you guys say partition? Like a pen. Partition. Partition. Yeah. And a partition is when you break things up into parts. So let me, let me give you an easy example. Can you break the number 43 up into easy, easy parts? Go ahead, Zion. Yes. Um, 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 like, like how many parts? Well, I'm gonna say two easy parts. 40 and three. And Cam, can you break up 67 into its easy parts? Uh, um, six and... No, not six. This is nowhere near representing... Oh, 60. Just like this is nowhere representing four. 60 yes. and... Seven. Right. And just erase that, buddy. So now you can use partitions to add these two numbers by going, okay, Zion, go. Oh, seven plus three is equal to 10. 40 plus six is equal to 100. Therefore? So that means it's 110. And so partitions are really, really helpful. It's used in the same area of math that we've been working for the last few weeks. Remember the area of math is called combinatorics. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna give you a, the first, we're gonna partition. Can you guys write that down? We're gonna partition the number three. And the way we partition the number three, Cam, are you writing it down? Okay, great. Because I can usually tell when you're writing and when you're not. And it's really important that when I say, write it down, you write it down. Even if I don't say write it down, you should write it down. You know how Zion's always saying to me, Mr. Kramer, I want to write that down. Because he knows that the pen is the gateway to the mind. Okay. There are one, two, and Zion, you should look up here, three partitions for the number three. So 
One of them is three. One of them is two plus one. And I don't see you writing, Cam. And the other one is one plus one plus one. So there are three partitions for the number three. Now, you may want to know, hey, is two plus one the same as one plus two? When it comes, yeah, yeah when it's it just comes, a turnaround fact. Right, but when it, so these, you know, these are called different permutations, but we don't use it as a separate partition. Now, I want you, and Cam, have you written this all down? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I want you to partition the number four by yourself. Yet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you look at how we did the partitions for three. And remember, guys, always go in order from the largest number to the smallest. Go. And by the way, you're allowed to double count. You're allowed to do a number plus itself. Um, Mrs. Mr. Kramer, how did he did it? And I accidentally did from, from the smallest to biggest. Okay, so now I want you to rewrite it from the biggest to the smallest, okay? And then I'm not sure where Cam is. We kind of lost his video. Uh, Cam, if you can hear us, let us know that you can hear us. Okay, and Cam, did it. you did it? Okay, how about you, Cam? And Cam, when I ask you a question, it's really important that you say, I'm not finished yet, Mr. Kramer, or yes, I'm I finished. Yes. I'm okay. not finished. So what have you written down already, Cam? I have written the partition of three, three, two plus one, one plus two, and one plus one plus one. But what about the partition for four? I'm asking you, what have you already written? Oh, for partition four? Yeah. Four plus four. four no, 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 no. Four plus four is eight. Oh, yeah. The first partition for four. One plus three. Yeah, but that comes in three plus one. Remember, we're going to always go in a combinatoric order. One plus one plus one plus now, one. Now, I agree with that, but that's not the next one. In fact, Cam, that's one plus the last one plus one. Plus. So, Zion, can you fill in the blanks with the two partitions that Cam missed? Um, two and two. You mean two plus two? Good. Yeah, two, two plus two. Um, but um, um, but for but I don't know the other one, but I did. But since Cam said one plus one plus one plus one plus one, it could be um, um, that would work actually. Because if I time, um, oh, I think I got it. Okay, hold on a second, uh, Zion, Cam. I think I got it. Go ahead, Cam. No, we three already have three, we already have three plus one. Oh yeah. We have to try and Diane, continue. Um, um, is it um, is it okay if we can do uh, um, um, one times four? No, because we're partitioning with addition. One times four is beautiful multiplication. But let me show you, boys. Never ever use a smaller number until you need to. Cam, did you hear that? Cam, did you hear that? Never use a smaller number. We do not need to go to the number one. Can't you partition that two to one plus one? What do you need? And therefore, how many partitions does four have? Five. Exactly. So, part, so four has five partitions and now I'm really interested to see if you guys can partition the number five using the same algorithm. So you never use a smaller number first until you've exhausted 
all the partitions. Cam and Zion, go. I got them. All right, I'm going to I'm going to start with you, Mr. Mr. Kramer, I'm not done. Okay, you keep working and Cam, you start me off. So, 5 3 plus 2 Uh that will be the third one. Did you use a smaller Four number? Four plus one. Ah, there you go. <sighs> two plus no, three. No, no, Oh, wait, three plus, three plus oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. And remember, don't use the number two to start with until you need to. Two plus three. No, don't use the number two until you need to. And two plus three is the same as three plus two. Let's see. Zion, Got it. Which one is next? Well, I three, two. I know. It's three. Um, three plus one plus one. Beautiful. Now, Cam, can you give me the next one? Four. Oh, wait, hold on. We already did that one. All right, Zion. Two plus one I know. plus one plus one. Okay, I agree, but that's yeah. not until the next one. Okay, Zion. I know the one before. Two Please. plus one plus one plus one. Say it's it again. Two plus two plus one. Right. Cam, do you see how you can use the oh. first, right? And then, Diane, the last one. What? There's more? Can you use the next one, please? Um, oh, two plus one plus one plus one. We already have that, as you can see. Oh, OK. One plus one plus one plus one plus one. Now, I want to ask you boys, how many total partitions is that for the number five? Cam, can you unmute One, yourself? Two, three, four, five, six, I know. And I'll, I'll okay, ask. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. And how many are there, Cam? Eight. Okay, eight. Zion, what do you think? Seven. There are only seven. Cam, when you counted seven, you can't make up an eight. There's not, it's not there. You counted seven, it's seven. Now, the beauty of this is if I take the number, now I'm gonna write the numbers three, four, five. Oh, Cam, I'm just gonna mute you, Cam, because there's a lot of noise in the background. And the number of partitions that you guys found were three, five, and seven. Can you boys please make a, an educated guess as to how many partitions the number seven will have based on the pattern that you see? So Cam, you can unmute yourself if you want to uh, uh, share, or Zion, you can share. I don't get this. How many partitions? For the number I three, know, Zion. I know, but I don't get this. Zion, listen. For the number three, do you remember that we got three partitions? Yeah. For the number four, we got five partitions. Oh For yeah. Five, we got seven. And what I'm asking you is based on that pattern, three, five, seven, how many, how many partitions do you think? And, and Cam, you have to stop that, please. You have to stop that. I want you to answer this question just like Zyan. You have to be respectful mathematically. Okay, Zyan or Cam, you can answer this question. What do you think 
is going to be the pattern. Nine. And what do you think, Zion? Um, I think I think I should agree with him because three plus two is equal to five, which is five is already there. Five plus two is equal to seven. Seven plus two is equal to nine. Yeah. So basically, what we're doing is we're counting odd numbers, and now I'm really interested to see you guys partition the number six to see if your conjecture of nine partitions is correct. All right, gentlemen, begin. Okay. Um. And Cam, are you writing down right now? Are you doing it? Cam, can you uh, unmute yourself, please? Not yet. Are you, are you well, no, no, you got to start right oh now. Oh my, yes. Mr. Kramer, I'm getting this pattern. Oh. Five, awesome. four, one, two. So, so this way it's going up from four to five, and then from, and from, from the one for five plus one, it goes down, but so far just got two under the one. So it's like going like a pattern. So what were your first few? And Cam, are you working this? First got six, then right. I got five plus one, four plus two, and we might do three plus three now. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't use three until you need to use three. There's another okay. partition with the number four in it. Cam, do you know which one it is? Come on, Cam, what's the next one? I did four plus two. I, three I plus three. Did. No, no, you three plus three. You skipped one in the middle, guys. Remember, never go to a lower number until you need to. You need to partition the number two like you partitioned the number two here. Four plus one plus one. There you go. That's your fourth partition. Now, what is your sixth partition, boys? Um, 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 three plus three. Three plus three is correct. After three plus three. Cam, do you have it? Three plus two plus one. Wow. And Zion, do you have the last one that starts with three? Okay. Three plus one plus one plus, plus one. All right, Cam, the next one's a lot of fun. Can you do the next one? What does it start with? You tell me. Can it start with a three or does it have to start with the next number? Next number. Absolutely. Two plus one. No, never use a smaller number until you have to. Use it. Two plus three. Two plus remember, three. Remember what Zion did here, Cam. This is the one you missed last time. Two plus two plus two. Yes. Very, very nice. And Mr. Zion. Yeah. I'm looking for the next one. Oh, okay. Um and Cam, okay. you be thinking of the one after this. Come on. Two. Plus, um, hmm, let me see if I need to use this. Two plus one. Do you really need to use a one? Or can you use this two? I can use it, maybe. Of course. Then do it. And? Plus one, plus one. There you go. Cam, give me the last one with the number two. Let's see. Two. Plus two. No, we've already done the two plus twos. If you did two plus two, two you need one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Exactly. So, gentlemen, we're. Wait, there's one more. There's one more. What? 
I know what it is. I know. Can I? Go for it, Cyan. One plus one. Wait, one plus one. Plus one. Wait, and plus one. Oh, wait, can it wait? One, two, three, four. I mean, plus one. How many partitions? How Nine. Many partitions? Oh, I think somebody didn't count. Okay. How wait, many five, partitions do we have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Ah, in fact, there are 11 partitions, and now, oh, I'm going to do this because that's really loud. Um, gentlemen, do you, oh, wait a minute. By the way, I made a mistake when I wrote down seven there. I meant to write six. And do you know that there is a special pattern right here? In fact, the number two has two partitions. Can you boys tell me what is special? Uh, and Cam, unmute yourself. What is special about those numbers, Cam? It's not that I know the answer. It's just that I have to go potty. Uh, all right. But before you go potty, before you go potty, Cam, these numbers, Zion, do you know what they're called? I don't know. No, I don't know. All right, go potty, Cam. They're called prime numbers, and we'll talk about it when you come back. So, Zion, two, three, five, seven, eleven. I can't hear you very well. It's know, kind of long. I know. I know. I muted Cam. We're gonna have to. I'll talk to his mom to see if we can get him in a quieter environment for our lessons. So, Zion, two, three, five, seven, eleven are the first five prime numbers. And prime numbers are considered the building blocks of all other numbers camp. I mean, uh, Zion. So, for instance, two only equals one times two. Um, two. Really? Yeah, because two, what? two, um, times two times times one is equal to two, three, or two times zero is equal to zero. That is true. But if you multiply a number by one, and that's the only way to do it, it's called a prime number. Now, Zion. Why is three a prime number? Because it can only be what? Three. You have to say one times one time. It's not three is, yes, three is three, but two is one times two. Three is? Three is one. No, three is one times three. How many threes am I holding up? One, three, one, three. What about five? Why is five prime? Because, because there's five times one times. So one uh, look, times look, five. Okay, this is getting very um, stuck in my head. It, so there's five, 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 five. Ugh, oh my. <laughs> There's five, one times five. So let's let's say it as a team. Ready? Yeah. One times five equals five. One times five is equal to five. Or five times one equals five. Five times one is equal to five. Why is seven a prime number? Because um, seven times one is equal to seven. Now, remember how before you said to me that one times four equals four? Remember you said that? Yeah. You were asking if we could do partitions that way. And actually, in a way you can, 
But I want to ask you this question. Is there another way to make four with multiplication? Um. Think of another way okay. to make four. Okay, two plus two or two um, times two. That is what I'm because, talking about. Two because if you... Two. Go ahead. Because, yeah, because if you times anything with two, it's going to be like plusing because you're adding two numbers together. That's exactly right. Now, the reason why the number four is not prime is because not only can you do one, one times four, but you can also do two times two. Another number that I really like that's not prime is the number nine. Now, of course, one times nine equals nine. But do you know another way using multiplication, not addition, that you can also make it prime? Um. Three times um, nine. Well, three oh, two plus three times three. Oh, okay. And that's why nine is not prime. So nine is not prime. Four is not prime. And we'll talk about that more. Now, I want you to think of this beautiful pattern. And right now with your dad, what I would do is I would partition the number seven and my conjecture would be that the next prime number, 13, would be the number of partitions. But beware that it may not work. It may not work. So I want you to work hard at it, then try eight, then try nine, then try 10. And Cam, I'm so sorry that you missed the lesson on prime numbers but what i would like to do is next time try to go to the restroom before class that's really important number one and number two i'm going to ask your mom cam if there's any way that you can be in a quiet environment during this lesson because it was even really hard for zion to hear when um there was a lot of noise in the background if it if it can't be done it can't be done and you'll just keep yourself muted. But if it can be done, wow, that would be really, really cool. Uh, um, Jensen, I will see you um, next week. Oh, Zion's dad, uh, see, um, do you, can you tell me, are, do they want a lesson next week or are they gonna be off next week? No, they have the classes uh, there because they're in the private school. Okay. So they're, they're, they don't have time off. Yes, yeah, so I will reach out to you to have a different time only to accommodate uh, a little bit of scheduling. And sure. that's okay with you. And, of course. Uh, fan and fantastic, but I will definitely find them time and look forward to seeing what you sure. and Diane do with the partitions. Okay. And I yes, Diane, do you have a question, buddy? Yeah, um, can you send us the mm -hmm. homework because you didn't send us for us for a long time? Um, I send it directly to you directly after the class. So oh, works. not like the example. Uh, I have a request. Um, you know, the, all the class, uh, is there any way you can make it video? So that's the way that he can go back again and review it. Yeah. And I actually, uh, take a video each time and I send it to you guys, uh, each time. Uh, yes. Last time, last few times we did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I will do, I've already taken a video uh, and we'll do that. It takes some time for me to upload it, um, sure. but I will definitely do that. And I'm a little late to the next group, so I've got to go. And you okay, guys thank have you so a much. great week. Bye-bye, um, guys. Have yeah, fun. can you send us the homework? Okay. Right now. Right now.